Hello viewers and welcome back to another video. I hope all of you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. The AI art community has been an absolute buzz lately talking about Stable Diffusion 2.0. Yeah, for all of you hoping for a Stable Diffusion version 1.6 coming after the previous 1.5 that we just had, yeah, we got 2.0, they just jumped right to 2.0, I guess. And something happened that I really did not think would happen. People are saying that this is a bad model, they're saying it's worse than Stable Diffusion 1.5 in a lot of different cases. They're saying that it can't generate certain famous people or famous characters as well as it used to. And well, we're gonna get into all of that drama or controversy, and I definitely have a contrasting opinion on that one. And I think I have some decent evidence to back it up and I have a good reason behind it. But let's just get into the basic news. What is Stable Diffusion 2.0? What is new about Stable Diffusion 2.0? So viewers at home here, we can see the Stable Diffusion 2.0 release page on Stability AI's website. Of course, this is the company that made Stable Diffusion. By the way, great news. Stable Diffusion is still as open source as it has always been. They provide this really nice uh, generated image here for the cover of this release blog. They start with a little bit of a flex showing a number of stars in GitHub, Stable Diffusion just increasing rapidly uh, compared to Bitcoin or Ethereum or any of these other GitHub posts. So they talk about how Stable Diffusion 2.0 has a number of huge improvements and features over the original V1 release. And again, they provide a, a pretty stunning good image here. This is clearly a spaceman hanging out with some ducks at a park at sunset, something like that. So they say 2.0 includes a robust text -to image model trained on OpenClip and the Lion database. So this is that Lion 5B database. This is a huge, huge text -to image uh, database. So it's created by Deep Floyd and Stability AI, and it's filtered, they say, to remove adult content using their NSFW filter. I believe this NSFW filter can still be turned off, though. I'm not exactly sure, don't quote me, but I think it can still be turned off. They provide two more sample images here that are very beautiful looking. Obviously, this is a photo of a rabbit wearing some sunglasses, and they've got, you know, the comfy hat on, and you can see the comfy hat actually goes over the ears to keep the ears warm. Nice touch. And they've also got a spaceman mowing the lawn, which is a pretty nice photo here. You can see the lawn reflected in the spaceman's helmet. You know, the colors are nice. It looks like a real photo. He's only holding it with one hand, though, which, you know, I feel like Dolly 2 and Mid Journey V4 would be doing two hands on the lawnmower, but maybe I'm just nitpicking. Super resolution. This is big. So Stable Diffusion now has a few extra tricks up its sleeve that I really am excited to see them incorporated in other models and everything like that. They've got a new resolution upscaling. So they upscaled this 128 by 128 to this 512 by 512. And as you can see, the upscaler worked really well and filled in a lot of the details and gaps in the face of this wild cat. I don't know exactly what it is. Snow Leopard? Anyways, apparently it can go even higher than 248 by 248, which is really, really exciting. They've also got this depth guided diffusion model called depth to image, which is something I had never even thought about before, but it's really interesting. So it extends a previous image to image feature. Now it can detect the depth of a given image and then apply styles and characters, whatever you can imagine accurately to that initial image. So here's the initial image. And as you can see, it's applying very accurately, you know, a Star Wars theme pineapple theme, a baby, and then a robot. And it looks like the depth is definitely working because it's able to detect the depth of the face and the arms and the podium and stuff like that. So this looks like it's really, really cool and definitely is going to be some really, really good uh, image to image. And you can see it's showing off of the smoke too, where the closer stuff is not as smoked out as the stuff far away. So that's definitely offers some more creative capabilities that we didn't see before with this tech. And they've updated in painting. Finally, let's go. Let's go, everyone updated in painting. I know everyone is excited for that. Text guided in painting model fine tuned on Stable Diffusion 2.0 base text to image makes it a lot easier to switch out parts of an image. And as you can see, it looks a lot better than it used to be. This is really exciting. Finally, some good, completely free in painting is coming in our future for you creative AI artists at home. And this made me super excited to see the f just like the first iteration of Stable Diffusion, they've optimized it to run on a single GPU. It runs on Google Collabs. I'll show you one and link you guys to one later in this video. 
for completely free. You guys can already start generating with this without any coding knowledge. And this is the power of open source, tapping the vast potential of millions of talented people. Very, very exciting stuff. So yeah, it looks like it's all great on the surface. So viewers at home, here's the completely free Google Collab for Stable Diffusion 2.0. I believe this Google Collab that I will link down below, it's super easy to set up. It's like two clicks. I believe this has the NSFW filter completely removed and I was able to generate fantastic images with it. Definitely better than something I'd get from Stable Diffusion 1.0 or 1.5. As you can see, this is a pretty complex prompt. Detailed photo, Shizu puppy dressed as a pirate sailing on a pirate ship. And yeah, you can see these images came out nice. They're in the higher resolution of 768 by 768, which Stable Diffusion can generate in from default. They they look good. These are better than the same prompt I got in Dolly, by the way. I will say that. You can see that in one of my old videos talking about Midjourney V4's release. I compared it directly against Dolly with this prompt. I won't lie, though, with the same prompt. Obviously, Midjourney V4 wiped the floor. Midjourney V4 is definitely still better than Stable Diffusion 2.0. Yeah, like Midjourney did a fantastic job with the prompt, but I really don't see Stable Diffusion 2.0 too far behind, and Stable Diffusion 2.0 definitely looks more like a photograph. It doesn't look like art or drawing. It looks like someone took a photo of this dog. And I did some more testing as well. This was obviously the famous 3D render lemon wearing sunglasses relaxing on the beach that I use. It's a little bit better than something you'd get from Stable Diffusion 1.5, but still it... Stable Diffusion has always struggled with this prompt, and you're still getting weird baby hands, it's still pretty incoherent, so this prompt was definitely the worst out of the bunch that I tested today, um, but it's better than the previous one for sure, a little bit more coherent, the trees look nice in the background, the beach looks nice, but man, that character is looking a little creepy and he's a little rough looking. And here is Midjourney's version of the same exact prompt. The prompt, by the way, was including that the lemon be holding a nice dr drink of lemonade in his hand. And yeah, Midjourney really just wipes the floor. It looks like a 3D render lemon character. He's drinking the lemonade. We've got a little lemon in there for an artistic detail. It's, it's really coherent. So yeah, Midjourney definitely did a really good job with this prompt. A lot better than Stable Diffusion 2.0. But again, Midjourney is not free. <laughs> this next prompt I tested was... Magical, bright, illuminated, haunted, enchanted, powerful sarcophagus. This is what Midjourney V4 came up with. Beautiful image, detailed sarcophagus. It's haunted. It's got the skull on there. And yeah, Stable Diffusion definitely gave us something that looks kind of like a sarcophagus. It's vibrant and glowing and stuff. So it did a pretty decent job, pretty coherent, especially with this one. But obviously, you know, it's nowhere near where Midjourney V4 is at. But again, Midjourney V4 isn't free, and this is free. Definitely better than the previous Stable Diffusion, I would consider. It's very coherent. Now, this next prompt was Obama and Elon Musk sharing an ice cream cone. Here's what we got out of Midjourney. Notice here that Elon Musk looks awfully a lot like Obama in these images. Midjourney kind of dropped the ball a little bit. They're pretty coherent, two people in each image, but they're really mixing the people up. Stable Diffusion 2.0, on the other hand, did a pretty decent job. This one's actually really, really good. The hand's still a little bit messed up, though. Elon Musk looks like he's got a troll hand in this. Actually pretty creepy there with this uh, troll hand. The jeans look pretty good, though. Elon Musk's face looks halfway decent. So does Obama. So, yeah, people are saying, oh, you know, they removed famous people from the data set. You can't get famous people anymore. Guys, you just have to remove that NSFW barrier and then you're able to access these people, I believe. If you're struggling to generate Elon Musk or Barack Obama or any other famous person, just use one that lets you disable the NSFW filter. I'll probably make a whole video talking about that if that does seem to be the case. But the Google Collab I'm linking right down below, completely free and has this filter removed. So, you know, some of the other ones, we got two Barack Obamas here, messed up hand, weird ice cream. Again, this one's just Obama and a cutoff Elon Musk. So this is typical stable diffusion stuff, though. This is like what I would expect. And then this one, we've got a, this one's pretty funny. A ginormous, weird looking ice cream and a very, very happy Elon Musk holding said ice cream. And then Obama's in the corner just enjoying himself. Not too bad, though. This one definitely was the best. They're, they're sharing an ice cream cone. And yeah, there's, there's mid journeys again. This next one was pretty interesting because someone in my Discord server said, Oh my god, guys, Stable Diffusion 2.0 can't make Breaking Bad Walter White. And maybe their NSFW filter was enabled here, preventing us from seeing Walter White. This is Midjourney, by the way. This is not Stable Diffusion 2.0. But this was what we got out of Midjourney. It was just photo of Walter White from Breaking Bad. 
Beautiful result here from Mid Journey. Definitely looks so much like Walter White. The wrinkles and the bald face and everything. And it's just artistic and beautiful. But it definitely doesn't look exactly like a photograph. However, here with Stable Diffusion 2.0, we got a beautiful result. This looks, this is just a photo of Walter White from Breaking Bad. He's in his lab coat and everything ready to go. Really, really great generation. Uh, this one's very, very close up, but still, that's definitely a photo of Walter White from Breaking Bad. No doubts about it. This one's a little wonky. We've got two Walter Whites combined here, but that's, you know, something I would expect out of Stable Diffusion. So it's actually doing pretty good. We're getting probably a better hit rate for good images compared it to the previous stable diffusion and finally we've got this one which honestly this like is something i would see out of mid journey version 3 so i would definitely compare stable diffusion 2.0 kind of in the likes of mid journey v3 i, I would say uh, maybe even with a little bit more creative flexibility but this is also a nice generation of walter white from breaking bad so it had no trouble making images of these famous people and that seems to be what a lot of people were really super worried about was generating images of famous people it might be the NSFW filter. I haven't tried it with the NSFW filter on, but it seems like you can actually still get images of famous people with that NSFW filter off. Some people on Reddit were also trying to see if they could test stable diffusion and see if we could get better hands out of it. And uh, the answer seems to be no. There may be a little bit more coherent. I don't know. I've never tried this prompt on the OG stable diffusion, but yeah, it looks like hands still are a problem for stable diffusion 2.0, but that shouldn't be that surprising because hands are still a problem for mid journey v4 and that to me and personally at least is the best model that's out there and it's definitely still a problem for dolly too so we haven't really seen good hands from any model yet so hands are still a problem and someone has also pointed out that stable diffusion 2.0 also seems to be a little bit better at doing text so this is elon musk we got a photo of him right here and it's like hello musk it's really trying its best, but, you know, that's got some sort of spelling there. Uh, eats poop poop. <laughs> so I assume they're saying the headline is Elon Musk eats poop or something like that. I got pretty close, though. This is within Dolly 2 and Midjourney's level of the, their ability to generate text, I would say for sure. And then we've got more poop and weird Elon mixtures. Yeah, I would put Stable Diffusion up there now pretty close to Dolly 2 in terms of coherency and quality. It's, it's really getting up there. And for a completely free model that can run on a decent GPU at your home, and it's going to be completely free on a number of websites, I'm sure Stable Diffusion 1.5 ended up being free on probably hundreds of different websites. For a free model, it's definitely looking like upwards. I don't I don't think there's any complaints to really be made here about Stable Diffusion 2.0. A user named Toad on my Discord created this quick little comparison. Stable Diffusion at 512 by 512 compared to Dolly 2, compared to Stable Diffusion at 768 by 768. As you can see here, Dolly 2 at 512 by 512 is consistent images, but maybe a little bit more blurry in some areas. It's a little hard to tell. Uh, but the real story with this comparison, I think, is that the non-native 512 by 512 generation of Stable Diffusion 2.0 is definitely less consistent at getting that image of the Schnauzer puppy in a wicked basket as consistently where the native 768 by 768 does a fantastic job at this. I would say in general, Stable Diffusion 2.0's images for this prompt were just as consistent as Dolly 2's and more creative and more detailed than Dolly 2's. Dolly 2's seem to be a little bit more blurry here and there, and that's something that I've noticed with Dolly 2 from time and time again. But yeah. I think Stable Diffusion 2.0 produces great images. It still seems to be making great images of famous people. For those of you looking to make maybe Google Collabs or a website at home implementing Stable Diffusion 2.0, try disabling the NSFW filter and seeing if that helps get better results of famous people. But I've seen a lot of famous people so far generated with Stable Diffusion 2.0, and it doesn't seem like it has a problem with it at the end of the day. There's It has the capability to do it. Maybe you just need to disable that filter. Anyways, folks, yes, I just want to make this quick video today discussing the Stable Diffusion 2.0 release. I am really excited for that upscaling feature, the depth to image features, and I think overall it's a great generator, especially for completely free. I think it's better than Stable Diffusion 1.5. Maybe some weird key areas, the original Stable Diffusion 1.5 is better, but overall I really think Stable Diffusion 2.0 is better. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos this week, and tell me what you guys think in the comments. And check out the Discord where we have a fantastic community that's growing every single day. I'll see you next time.